Hey everybody, I have Mindy with us today and Mindy is just a superstar career revisionist with an entrepreneurial spirit. I mean, when we first met, uh, I mean, Mindy, when you and I first met, you were, you were in this position that you didn't felt suited you. I mean, you, you were working, you felt that you weren't working at your fullest potential and that you didn't enjoy what you were doing. And, and you were seeking this, this clarity as to what you wanted to do next. So Mindy, why don't you tell us about, about the beginning? Give us a picture, a snapshot of where things were in the beginning and that made you reach out to me. What, 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 what was going on at that time? Sure. So I am a project manager by trade at this point in life. Um, I was tired of doing the project management thing. I got tired of being told what to do in, in a sense. Mm-hmm. And I felt that my, I, my heart really wasn't into doing this particular type of job. Um, I knew it wasn't, I just kind of fell into this field. Um, I, I didn't, I, I'm going to say I really didn't have a choice. It was just one of those things that just happened to fall on my lap many, many years ago. Uh, so I just kept following it. I didn't take the opportunity to do anything else. I just, my, my, my process, my thought process was I'm going to pay, all I have to do is pay my bills. And that's kind of where my thoughts were is that I have to work in order to pay my bills, regardless of what I'm doing, right? regardless of whether it's something I have passion about. Um, and it just, it's been a long time. Um, my husband and I moved to Florida about 10 months ago now. Um, this is one dream that I have always wanted to do was to move to Florida. So that is one thing that I did get done was to move here. And I just started feeling that I don't want to, I don't want to say waste my life um, anymore with the, with the work. Um, it's just I, I wanted to do something that made me happy and made me um, want to go to work every day, per se. Um, so I... So one of, I took one of your free webinars um, that I found on Facebook, actually, and I liked what you said. You, you hit everything that has been in my head for the past probably a good five years on, you know, you got to, you, life is short. Um, yeah. I, I wanted to do what, my, what I was passionate about or what was part of my passion, and I just needed to do it. And regardless of what all the... Uh, what are those those little voices in my head were saying that you couldn't do it um I reached out to you uh, and we started working together and for that um I'm at a point where I started my own bookkeeping business which is going to help support doing my long-term three to five year if not sooner which I'm hoping it's sooner now um goal of having my own canine water therapy um company and that's that's where my passion is my passion is animals my passion is to help those animals Um, I have a tripod dog right now who I I actually had to be the person on the other side where I had to take him somewhere to get his water physical therapy because he was having issues with his back leg we ended up taking but um, up to that point we used that to help him strengthen those muscles and that's I see dogs all the time that either have bad hips or Um, issues with with other things, surgeries, anything like that. And I just want to help those animals to improve their quality of life and not have to have their owners put them down because of that. So being I've experienced it, that's kind of why I chose to do that. And with your help, I've been slowly picking away at, at, you know, doing those things. And hopefully at some point I will find a place to do it and open my own little business. (laughs) So at that time, like, why, why was it so important for you to just to have that clarity? Why was that piece of it so important to you? At that time? Excuse me. Um, I think it's because life is short and I didn't want to spend another 10 years doing what I'm doing. I don't want to retire if I even am able to retire doing what I just, <laughs> what I, just what I told you I was doing. Um, I don't want to feel that I'm working just to pay the bills. I want to um, go to work and have fulfillment and have enjoyment of what I'm doing. And in order for me to have done that, I needed to have somebody help me see my path clearly instead of worrying about, you know, and my bills going to get paid, this, that, everything. And you helped me with that. You helped me push all that away. And yeah, it's still there. I know it's still there. It's not, it's just not clouding my judgment anymore. And I've, and I feel that I can, Mm -hmm. um, I have the strength and the, 
willingness and of course the passion, which is not a problem to do, to get to that goal and, and have what I want to be doing in, in a few years. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what, what else, I mean, if, Mindy, if you could share with us, what else did you try to do to get that clarity for yourself before, before you and I met? What, what else were you trying to do to, to figure out for you what's going to come next in, in my career? Um, I don't think I really was doing a whole lot, to be honest, because I just, I was more worried about, um, I, I think my biggest thing was worrying about paying the bills. I mean, we made a huge move from, from Maryland to Florida, and, and um, I, I, I am very proud of myself because I, I planned that whole thing. I did that whole thing, and we, we took a lot of chances. We took a lot of, you know, um, a, a big chance because my husband wasn't going to have a job when we moved down. I got lucky. I had something that paid the bills, but I just felt that if I can do that and move us from Maryland to, to here and we were okay and we're still okay, that I can, I can now move forward and do what I want to do. Nice. Love it. I love it. That's awesome. Uh, share with us um, that, that process, that process of discovery since you came into my program and, and we started working together. What was that process like for you? What, did, what, what, what happened? It, it allowed me to um, really dig deep and, and, and keep myself focused on what do you really want to do and and you helped me gather my thoughts and push away those fears my my thing is I have a lot of I had a lot of fears I had a lot of fears of you know am I going to be good enough to do this do I have the experience to do this and it's not the experience it's the passion I think and that's what opened my eyes saying you know okay I've never done it before but so what learn you know I've, I've got I'm going to, I still haven't talked to the gentleman up in Maryland, but I, I have his name now. So I'm going to give them a call, but people are, I think, I think most people are, are willing to help you if you're passionate about something and you want to do it the right way that they'll be able to help me. So I'm not, I don't feel like I'm by myself. I feel like I can reach out and, and, and get that help. But you just, I just, there was just so much fog in front of my eyes per se, because I was just so fearful of, oh my God, my bills aren't going to pay, you know, we don't want this house, but we're, I've got myself or us, I shouldn't say myself, but we've, I've got us in a spot where we're comfortable. We're working with a financial planner to help us get to the point where I can either buy land or rent land and to have a facility built. So the, and he knows of the goal. So that's one of the reasons I did that was to, put that financial fear behind me and move forward with it because he, they're go- he's going to help us inv- invest and we, he's, he knows that this is my goal and I told him I'm moving it up. So he knows I need to move stuff, you know, change things as we need to. But um, you just, I just, it was, it was a great journey. I, I should have done this 10 years ago. I probably, <laughs> I would be a lot better off. <laughs> at this point in life. Um, but I didn't even know that people like you existed because I never felt that I could do that. And now going through the program with you, I absolutely can do this. I'm absolutely going to do this. And, um, you know, I'm excited about it and my goals are there. I have my goals, you know, my three to five year goals. Like I said, I'm hoping more towards three years than five. Um, but I'm getting there and, and I'm actually doing it, which is something that you helped me with because I, I can talk a good story like anybody else, but actually doing it and, and working those little steps and teaching me not to, not, not to expect the big step in the beginning, but start those little tiny steps to get to your goals. That's helped me a lot because it was what I started. I still have all the notes from your class and I still have my other notes and I'm just slowly going through and checking off the little things. And it makes me feel good. Finally, I can say, Oh, I finished that. Yay. Let's go into the next one. (laughs) (laughs) That is so wonderful. That's so awesome, Mindy. So now that you're, you are where you are now and you have overcome those fears and doubts that you once had, once had, why do you think people are unable to overcome their own fears and doubts? What is it that, like, what is it that helped you with yours? Um, it was, it's a struggle. Um, I had, you know, I didn't have parents who supported me. So I built up my own fears 
over the years. And um, I, I think there's, there's absolutely people out there who can jump off the bridge and, and go forward with it. I'm not one of those people I've never had been. I'm an introvert to top it off. So that didn't help any that I was, you know, I kept everything inside and, and I was, a, the fear just over, overran me. Mm -hmm. um, but I think people overall just are, are probably have the same fears that there's the financial thing or if they're not good enough or, you know, you, they see other other companies in whatever field they want to get into doing well. I'll, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a real tiny speck in that in that world how can i you know get to that point well you'll never know until you try and if you fail you know what you learn lessons yeah. and you move on and that's all i'm doing is i'm just moving along and i'm i'm learning a lot from the position i'm in now because i can see where he's he can possibly fail and even though it's a different world that we're in right now than what i want to do but it's all the same concepts you know they just you you, you got to take the time and, and invest yourself into it. And that's, that's what I'm finally doing. I'm investing into myself to get to my point and my goals. Yeah, that is amazing. Sh share with us, like, what are some takeaways that you have for the people who are listening to this? Um, I think the biggest one for me and, and for anybody else who's listening and who's interested in taking your course is, you've got to be happy with what you're doing. You've got to be happy in your life. Life is too short to say, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's yeah. too much of a, of a chance. It's too much of a risk. Life is all about risk and chances. Take the chance because you never know. And again, if you fail, you learned, you move on to something else or you do it again and do it better. I, it, that's the biggest thing. You just can't be afraid of, of taking chances in life. I mean, we, like I said, we took a huge chance moving from Maryland to Florida. Who knew what could have happened with that? I mean, this whole thing could have blown up my face, but it didn't. And uh, we're both the happiest that we we took that chance. So take the chance. Do what you're passionate about. And if you need help like I did, absolutely get it. There's no fear or no shame in reaching out and say, hey, I'm stuck in life. <laughs> I need help to climb over that wall. And you absolutely helped me do that, climb over that wall. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what, what would you say to people who, like, there's a lot of people out there who are struggling with something, they have challenges and obstacles, some fears and doubts. And, and when they go out to reach for help, they're, they're like, they're a bit skeptical, you know, like, they, they kind of have this question in their mind of, how do I know this is going to help me? How do I know? Like, what, what would you say to someone with that type of, with, with that thought? Wow. Well, I didn't know if you could help me either. I mean, I just took the chance. And um, I would just say if, if take a step back and take a good look at what you really want to do and, and why you're having that fear. Why are you, why do you think that that person can help? If, if it's, if then find somebody else. I mean, there's, there's people out there that can help you doing everything in life. I mean, I, I've, you know, there, I, I'm so thankful that I met you and I didn't have a clue that people like you existed. Like I said, um, just do it. Just, I mean, you just have to take the chance, you know, take the opportunity, talk to the person first. If, if you feel that the person can't help you, then there's a million other people out there that they may be able to help you. You just need to find that person who can help you with your niche or, or, or with your problem or issue, if you want to call it that. Um, I, like I said, I, I didn't know anything about you, but you hit on everything. Um, I listened to what you said in your free webinar and I'm like, that's me. That's me to a hundred percent. You know, I don't care, but I, I need to do something now. Or and honestly, if I didn't do it now, I probably would never have done it. So I'm, I'm so happy that I took that chance. So just take the chance. Just, just, just do it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just do it. <laughs> it's well worth it. <laughs> Any other words of wisdom that you could share? with people who are listening, Mindy. I mean, your, your story is so inspiring. When we look at, you know, where you came from, where you are now, and the hopes and dreams you have for yourself and making them happen. I mean, you're starting a business. That's incredible. So any, any words of wisdom that you can share? Um, just beat your fears. Um, don't, don't let those fears take you down like they took me down. And if you're at a point where you feel that you can't climb out of that hole, 
I mean, I know I've probably repeated this a million times in this conversation, just find somebody who can help you climb out of that hole and help you clarify your, your thoughts and, and dreams mm -hmm. and clarify what your thoughts are. And if you really have that passion, you really want to do it, you'll do it. Just <laughs> get out and, and, and take that opportunity. And I'm, um, like I said, and I cannot tell you how thankful I am for you because if it wasn't, again, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am now. I'd, I'd be doing this, putting stuff into it, data entry <laughs> the rest of my life. But, um, um, I, I, I don't care about that now because I'm looking forward. You taught me to look forward. And, and even though I'm doing this for now to take care of things that have to be taken care of, like financial things, I still have that goal and that's what makes me happy because that makes every day I'm doing a little tiny bit on what I need to do to get to that point. And that's, you know, don't, don't set yourself up for expectations of getting it done overnight. It, it doesn't happen. Just take your time, get what you want to do, follow your dreams and do your goals. And that's, that's where I'm at right now. That's amazing. Thank you, Mindy, for your generosity in sharing your wisdom, your generosity in sharing your journey. It's been amazing. And people, folks listening, I mean, take it, take it from Mindy. She is, she's just like you searching for clarity, searching for that next step. And, and, and if you're interested in seeing if, if I can help you to make some of the breakthroughs that Mindy did, I mean, obviously she has a very unique career narrative and obviously she's, she's super ambitious. She's got an entrepreneur heart as well. But if you want to start a conversation and see maybe if I can help you make some of those same breakthroughs, then I want you to head over to masteryinsights.com forward slash calendar and book a call to speak to me. I mean, so the best thing you can do is book a call. I mean, if, if it's not a fit for you, believe me, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you that. And if it's not a fit for you, I mean, you tell me that too. But if it is a fit, we can do something great together and transform your life, right? So head over to masteryinsights.com forward slash calendar. Yeah, thank you, Mindy. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> we'll be in touch. Yes. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.